Tupac Shakur's stepbrother Maprim Shakur is happy that the iconic rapper's killer got arrested, but he is also upset that it took authorities this long for his capture. News.com has learned that gangster Dwayne Keith D. Davis was taken into custody on Friday, September 29, on charges of murdering the Hail Mary hitmaker. Davis was indicted on one count of murder with a deadly weapon and one count of gang enhancement by a Nevada grand jury, which led to his arrest. He was denied bail by Clark County District Judge Jerry Wees. Chief Deputy District Attorney Mark DiGiacomo described Davis as the on-ground, on-site commander and shot caller who ordered the death of Tupac Shakur during a press conference in Las Vegas on Friday, September 29. Maprim Shakur said that he still does not understand how it took police this long to capture Davis, especially since he has been boasting about his role in Tupac's murder for so many years. He also said that it angered him knowing Davis would use his brother's name and death to gain attention over the years, as Davis had repeatedly boasted about his role in the murder of Tupac. I am a little numb because the timing is so curious because why now 27 years after his death? Davis has said this whole time that he was in the car when his nephew, Orlando Anderson, shot my brother. This didn't have to happen, Maprim said in a statement to the New York Post. He said that Las Vegas detectives had reached out to him a few months ago, assuring him that they were still investigating the 27-year-old case. The timing was very curious and I was a little taken aback because this should have happened a long time ago, Maprim told the Post. People talk, but that doesn't mean there was anything to it. And then I found out that the detective on the case suddenly retired. I was just baffled by the bull tea, but someone else in the department did say they were still working on things and it's moving, he added. Maprim further said that the delay in Davis's capture was just a blatant disregard for the memory of my father, who is the greatest rapper of all time and is an icon. Davis said so himself that he was definitely involved. He admitted this, the grieving stepbrother said. Deputy DA DiGiacomo said at the Los Angeles press conference that while investigators had the information on what led to the fatal shooting, there were still some holes that led to the delaying of Davis's arrest. What was lacking was admissible evidence to establish this chain of events. Davis admitted within that book that he did acquire the firearm with the intent to go hunt down Mr. Shakur and Mr. Knight, he said at the press conference. In his memoir Compton Street Legend, David wrote that Tupac and his entourage beat up his nephew Orlando Anderson earlier that night at the MGM Grand Hotel after a Mike Tyson boxing match, which sparked retaliation from him and his crew. He had claimed that Anderson pulled the trigger on Tupac as an act of revenge. Davis admitted he was inside a white Cadillac with Anderson and two others as they pulled up to Shocker's vehicle on the Las Vegas Strip the night of September 7, 1996, and shot him. At the time, Tupac was in a BMW driven by Death Row Records founder Marion Shug Knight as part of a group of approximately 10 cars. 25-year-old Tupac was shot four times that night and he died in a hospital six days later. Davis and Anderson were members of the Southside Compton Crips gang of which Davis claimed to be a five-star general.